Hello, friends. Today we're reading Goldie Rocks and the Three Bears by Corey Rosen Schwartz and Beth Colton, illustrated by Nate Rag. And if you like what you're listening to, remember to like and subscribe. Once upon a rock and roll time, three bears in a band jammed with ease. The papa bear drummed, the mama bear strummed, and baby bear tickled the keys. But the band didn't have many fans yet, and Papa Bear figured out why. Though we all love to croon and carry a tune, we can't hit the notes way up high. So they set out to find a soprano. Soon after they left, a girl knocked. Is that porridge I smell? Gee, that would be swell. She checked and the house was unlocked. A studio! Great balls of fire! Amazed, Goldie raced through the door. She forgot about food and was now in the mood to hurry on in and explore. The mama bear's mic hit her elbow and pops reached the top of her head. But Baby's was hiked to just where she liked. I'll give it a whirl, Goldie said. She grabbed it and started performing. Dooby wop dum diddy doo. She was singing quite well till she stumbled and fell and the microphone stand broke in two. So Goldie said, I'll try the headphones. But Mama Bear's pair was too tight. The Papas were loose. Gee, these are no use. But Baby Bears fit her just right. That tune was so catchy, thought Goldie. I'd love to be a part of their band. The guitar was too twangy. The cymbal's too clangy. The piano was perfectly grand. Exhausted from moving and grooving, she needed to catch a few Z's. This day's been a doozy. I'm feeling quite snoozy. She dozed off on Baby Bear's keys. In the meantime, the bears had held tryouts. But no one had blown them away. The hair was too twitchy. The pigs were too pitchy. And Red was just simply okay. The family returned to their cottage, distressed from their lack of success. When they saw the inside, the mama bear cried, Egats! What a terrible mess! Someone's been using my mic stand. Someone's been using mine too. Then baby bear spoke, Oh no, my stand broke! He started to sniffle. <laughs> Boo hoo! Then mama bear looked at her headphones. Oh, someone has tried my pair on. Mine too, Papa growled. The parents both scowled. And Baby Bear cried, Mine are gone. Then Papa Bear said, Who played my drum set? And Mama Bear said, Who plucked my strings? Well, who's in my chair? Asked the littlest bear. She's drooling on all of my things. They stared at the slumbering blonde girl. And Papa Bear asked, Who could she be? He disrupted her dream. She woke with a scream. Ah! The pitch was a perfect high C. The bears asked to hear a whole melody once Goldie recovered from shock. Amazing, said Mom. Pop grinned. You're the bomb. And Baby cried, Goldie can rock. Together they wrote a new ditty. They practiced it into the night. And soon their new jingle became a hit single. Too hot, too cold, or just right. Their albums now top all the rock charts. And countrywide tours have been planned. The fans scream and shout, they're crazy about... 
Goldie Rocks, and the Great Three Bear Band. The end. And if you like this fairy tale story, you should start writing your own fairy tale story in this top secret journal. You can find the link in the description down below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.